Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi! Thank you so much for visiting me. My name is Kalissa and today I'm going to be doing a cup crease makeup tutorial. This is going to be the second video to my series. It's called Christmas Cup Crease and I absolutely love it. I love how this look came out. I think this is a perfect makeup look for the holidays and it reminds me kind of like of New Year's Eve too. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I also have an Instagram Twitter and Snapchat, all of that is Makeup by Kalissa. If you want to see how to get this look, keep on watching, girl, because you're going to have fun today. How cute is my little joy sign? Mm. Isn't it so cute? Before anything, you always want to make sure that your eyelids are prepped and they're primed. Best eyeshadow primer that I found that literally lasts has the claim of what it says. This is the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. For eyeshadows today, I'm gonna to be using the Morphe 3502 palette. The first shade that I'm gonna go in with is Universal. And this is how the palette looks. And I'm gonna take a MAC 224 brush. This brush is freaking scratchy. I'm gonna take a MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna use the shade Orb and apply that also right on the crease. And then with the 221 brush, which is a little bit more precise, I'm gonna be taking So Warm. And then I'm going to take the shade right next to that, which is called Toast. There we go. And apply that right on top of that with the same 221 brush. Making sure that it's blended. I kind of like lift my eyelids like that because I don't know if you can see like right in here I have like little lines. I'm just gonna grab a powder and highlight the inside and make sure that that brown there and the concealer under my brow transition really well. The shade that I'm gonna take is uh, NC10, the Studio Fix Powder by MAC and NC10. MAC Select Cover Up Concealer, which is my favorite concealer to clean on my eyebrows and for cut creases and all that, I just love the texture. I'm be using it in the shade NC20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it right in the lid and look up. See where it is? Now I'm. That's like a guideline. That's where I'm going to kind of cut the crease so that when you're looking up, you see the cut crease. Because if I just do it here and then I look up, I'm not really going to see it. But since I looked up. And I kind of made that mark there. When your eyes are open, you'll be able to see the cut crease more and the eye look and the desired effect. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna take a MAC 214 brush. Ow, 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 ow. Definitely shouldn't twist my hand like that. I'm going to take a MAC 214 brush and apply the shade Toast right next to that. Then I'm going to take the 221 brush, which is just super small, and make sure that everything is just nice and blended. I'm drinking some Coca Cola using Naked Pigment by MAC Cosmetics.
Now I'm just going to do the other side and I will be right back because I gotta be super close to the mirror. Lashes, I'm gonna be putting on Broadway, hashtag DW. <laughs> Lashes. For moisturizer, what I'm gonna be using is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. It quenches, moisturizes, and illuminates the skin. It has pineapple ceramide, lentil, apple, and watermelon. And it just is nice because it's good for oily skin because it's a gel. Anything that is a gel is good for oily skin, but it intensely hydrates, which is definitely something that I need because it's weird because with makeup on, I get really oily, but when I don't have any makeup on, I'm super dry. Just to make sure that the foundation is nice and supple and smooth i'm going to be putting a little bit of our sally rose gold elixir shake well before use apply to the face and neck can be used day or night for primer i'm going to be using the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte primer I really do like this primer. I like how it sits under foundation. And I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's oil free and this is the pore minimizing primer. But this one does a really good job of not making anything kind of separate into my nose. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 260. It's the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Honestly, the reason I'm using this is because yesterday I saw Time the Infamous's video on her updated foundation routine. And can we please talk about her background? Goals. I love that flower background, but that must cost so much. But I want to do it. I love it. She totally gave me inspiration. It reminds me of like Kim K vibes. Real Techniques Foundation Oval Brush. Hear them ring. The only default that I find in this foundation is that it dries so quickly that you have like no time. Just personal preference, I would love if it was not so freaking matte. For concealer today, of course, of course, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. To blend out my concealer, I'm going to be using the MAC Oval 6 brush. Now I'm going to be doing some cream contouring and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Mocha. KKW Beauty Brush and blending that out. Okay, it looks like I got sunburned. I'm going to be using the Patrick Star Powder to set under my eyes. I'm gonna take toast. I'm going to run a pencil in my waterline. I wanna do um, a nude, a MAC NC15 slash NW20 chromographic pencil. Now for contouring, I'm going to be taking the Shade and Light palette. Using the Real Techniques uh, 300 brush. Now I'm actually going to take some of this color right here, which is called Levitation. 
Now to highlight, which is my favorite part, I'm going to be going in with this limited edition. I'm sorry, it's limited edition, and if you don't have it, you missed out. Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. To highlight, I actually really liked how this applied highlight, so I'm going to be taking the MAC 140 SES brush. And Razy says, when you think you finished with your highlight, apply a little more. Okay, so for blush, I'm not really going to be going in with the blush. This is also limited edition, so I apologize. But you can get Gold Deposit. I know Gold Deposit might be um, similar. It's an Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. I'm going to be taking the My Mimi Extra Dimension Skin Finish from the Mariah Carey MAC Collection. I'm going to use a MAC 109 brush. Bold Bad Lash Mascara. I'm breaking my rule to never use mascara on lashes. I love Coke. Are you? I know. Excuse me. Nice and spicy. Then I'm going to use the Nikki's Nude lipstick. Now I'm going to be using the Fenty Gloss. I want to look like nice and glowy. I'm going to spray some of this Tatcha. Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Like I said in my other video, this is my favorite spray. So I'm going to be taking the Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray to finish off my set today. As long as it looks good in the front. That's all we're worrying about today, honey. Raise your hand if you love this makeup. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you love it. This is my Christmas cup crease. Christmas cup crease. Christmas cup crease. Christmas cup crease. Merry Christmas. Please don't forget to subscribe. That's all I have to say.